Wipe that smile off your face. People left Family Guy to work on your show. When your credits scroll across the screen, each name represents a life that is now destroyed. People lost homes, spouses left, kids can't go to college, and, and it's a big joke to you? Grow up! <clears throat> My show was terrible. Well, that was nice of you to help the Browns get settled. Oh, I'm not done yet, Lois. I'm gonna give my old buddy Cleveland a hand and take this moving truck back for him. Peter, you don't know how to drive a stick shift. Oh, yeah, truck drivers are so smart. It's easy, Lois. You just find them and grind them. No, 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 no! Oh, a lawn rock went in my crack. We're done! Cleveland, slam the door. Now lock all our city black person locks. Our house is also a liquor store. But Cleveland, you're my best friend. I mean, Quagmire's always so busy with sex, and Joe... Joe's just so needy. Really? Am I in a good way? Lois, know you're here? No clue. I brought beer. I brought pot. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought pot. I brought acid. Oh, well, now I feel stupid. I brought crystal meth. I brought ten rounds of chemotherapy. I think we may have gone too far. Now I feel bad for laughing at my dad when he went through this. We now return to Someone's Aunt Thinks Everything That Happens To Her Is An Incredible Coincidence. And so we get in the cab, and you'll never guess what the cab driver's name is. Michael! And my son's name is Michael! Oh my god! My son's name is Michael! Well, I gotta do something. She's madder than the groom was when I made that wedding toast. You know, when Turk first asked me to be his best man, I said, You're marrying her? Are you nuts? We've all done her! It's not supposed to be serious. This is Suzanne! Or, as we used to call her, Gargamel, Pigface, The Beast, Down Syndrome Jenny McCarthy, Penis Flytrap, The Final Option, Betty Kruger, or, as she will be known from today on, Mrs. Turk Mendelssohn. Ladies and gentlemen, to the Mendelssohns. You know, you're right, Bri. You're so much smarter than me. What would I do without you? Well, you know, one day when you're older, you'll realize the difference between intelligence and wisdom. Stupid dog, thinking he could change my mind. He's dumber than a Netflix customer. Want to watch something on Netflix? No, they never have anything good. We should cancel it. But I've had it since college. Netflix. It sucks, but who cares? Hey, Chris, Meg, who wants to throw the bee around with me? Brian? Whoa, who are you? Never mind who I am. Why are you so upbeat? Shouldn't you be about four bourbons into your day at this point? Bourbon? What's that? You mean liquor? In this temple? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, too bad. This stuff is loaded with antioxidants. Lance Armstrong swears by it. Lance Armstrong? He's the best guy of all time. Give me that. The hell with Frisbee. I'll play with words and let my readers do the soaring. We now return to Lincoln 2, even higher voiced Lincoln. Mr. President, I feel the time has come to seek emancipation for the Negro race. I concur with the good secretary. History has given us this moment, and we must seize it. Ha-ha! Well, I'm with you guys! Lois, we need to talk. What is it, Peter? Did you or did you not fill in my Mad Libs with very literal, unfunny versions of the story? I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> the man took his bike to the park. This is literally off the top of my head. The man took his rectum to the park. It's nice to be held by a guy who doesn't interrupt wedding toast to smell his belly button finger. I guess I've known Bob about, uh, 25 years? Coward! I have found you! Ah! Oh my god, Stoy, you okay? Quick, somebody call an ambulance! This could need stitches! We don't want this to leave a scar! No, there's no time for an ambulance! We gotta take him to the hospital right away! Guys, I'm alright. I, I think Meg... Oh my god, he's delirious! He's talking nonsense! Quick, everybody in the car! 